Hello and welcome back to another video today here again on Forza Horizon 4 to test out another brand new vehicle. This week uh, the new prize car is the Porsche 928 GTS. So for 50% of spring season you can unlock this, so by doing roughly this sort of number of events uh, you can unlock yourself the 928. Uh, if you didn't see last week's video on the Citroen DS23 make sure you go and check that one out. Um, but this week going to be focusing on the 928. Um, obviously we don't know what we're getting next week yet. Um, but there will potentially be another new car, and if there is, I will be sure to be testing it out. Um, but anyway, let's hop into the 928 GTS. So, the 928 um, was produced between 1978 and 1995. So, it's actually quite a late model we've got in here, because it's a GTS, um, and they were put in production between 1991 and 1993, or they might have run until the end of the... Anyway, they put into production in 1991 and we have a 93 car. Um, it's obviously, it's a front-engined V8 GT car, the biggest engine being a 5.4, which is what we've got in this car. Um, so, yeah, let's hop straight into it. 345 horsepower, 3,500 pounds, get into the car. So, yes, um, the 928 was originally intended to replace the Porsche 911, um, so it was a big V8 GT car, so you can imagine Porsche 911 customers... Doesn't sound too bad actually, that V8. Porsche 911 customers weren't too keen to buy it, it was quite, quite sort of modern for its time, and quite a sudden move for Porsche, obviously, who were mostly making rear-engine cars, and because Porsche 911 enthusiasts are weird species who like rear-engined Beetles, um, it, it didn't sell very well. It didn't really catch on at all. Hence why the 911 is still made today, because this was supposed to replace it. They were trying to move away. Um, <laughs> a lot of people say that, don't they? Why are Porsche insistent on putting the engine in the wrong place? Well, because they tried not putting it in the wrong place and nobody bought it. Um, anyway, yeah, it was quite expensive as well. It was quite substantially more than the outgoing 911, so that might have something to do with it as well. Um, but yeah, it was quite modern for its time, and obviously didn't sell too well, so I can hear. Those pop-up lights look a bit ridiculous. I have to say, the interior's quite boring. Um, but yeah, here it is. Uh, let's just check what class this is. 698, right at the top of E class, so maybe we'll build it to the top of A, I don't know. Ignore that unable to join session thing, that's been permanently there for about a week and a half. Thank you very much, Forza, please fix your servers. Um, yeah. Ooh, ooh, it does nice slides. So yeah, it, although I say it's a new car, it has actually been in Horizon 3 and Motorsport 7. And it's been spotted in this game's files, I believe, well, well a, a long time ago, let's say. <laughs> so it's been in the game for ages, but they've only just released it to us, and obviously they have the model for it is in Horizon 3 and Motorsport 7, so quite why we're only getting it now, I don't know, it should just be in the base game. Um, but I say that about a lot of these cars that are added that have been in previous titles, they should just be here already. But yeah, quite an interesting car. Uh, shame it didn't really catch on and place the 911, that's of course trying to move forward, but customers said no. Anyway. That Porsche writing in the red bit's a bit weird, because that's not a light, that's just like a red... Seems to be a trend for doing that. But yeah. This must have looked quite modern, actually, when it... Well, that's part of why it didn't sell, but... 1978... It, it kind of... I know this model's a 90s one, but... I don't think the base model looks that 70s, 80s, maybe. Anyway, it's got a rumbly V8, it's quite quick, it's top of B class. Uh, time to go to the festival and see what upgrades and customization are available. Okay, so upgrade shop. It looks slightly green in here for some reason, which is a bit weird. Maybe it is slightly green. Okay, so we can put in a 6.2 litre V8, uh, flat 6 or a V10. So I'm guessing that's Carrera GT engine? 911 engine. Big V8 engine. I'm not sure what that's from. Oh, it might be from... no, 6.2 V8. 
Anyway, you can put in a bigger V8, a flat six for a V10. I don't really want to because the kind of the whole point of this is that it's a V8 Porsche. Um, we could put the other V8 in, yes, but the whole point is a V8 Porsche, so. Let's leave that alone. You can do your usual all-wheel drive swap or turbos and superchargers. Let's not do that. Like I say, I want to go with quite a sensible build, maybe just A-class. Oh, <laughs> Why is wing removal not a thing? We've got that monstrosity, which looks particularly strange on this car. Right, let's not do that. First thing I usually go for on cars is tyres, so let's go with that. And widths as well. Bring them out because it looks nicer. This isn't necessarily going to be a fast build, I just think top of A-class is a good sort of aim. I kind of want to do the wheels, actually, because they're quite dated. Have we got some sort of Porsche style? Not quite like that. You know what I mean. The classic Porsche style wheels. We got, Although this, those will look even more dated, won't they? Hmm. I think maybe I will just leave them. I usually do, and I like cars relatively stock finish. We definitely need to change the colour, that's important. I think with tyres and gearboxy bits we're going to be... hang on, I thought we were at... I thought we were at 790 something. I think I'm missing numbers, right. Yeah, let's try get it. Uh, race, 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 race. I won't do roll cage and weight reduction. I know it's stupid, but in real life, weight reduction means removing nice comfort features. I know that doesn't really matter in the game, but anyway. I'm kind of throwing these parts on quite randomly. I don't think we'll get away with those. No. I could try just maxing out the standard engine. Oh, hang on. We'll get away with that. And that. Yeah, I could just try maxing out the standard engine, but I kind of... I haven't built anything to a class in one of these... Uh, first tests of one of these new vehicles for quite a long time, so I kind of feel like that's a nice change. Right. Very quick A-class upgrades. Let's see what beautiful designs the wonderful Forza community have come up with. This is always a slight worry. Um, <laughs> some quite nice golf ones. There's the sort of classic Porsche writing or we've got some racing cars. Of course somebody's made the new racing livery. Uh, I'm not seeing anything exciting. Right, let's see if we've actually got any we got any paint groups. No, we've literally just got manufacturer colours. Uh, it, it's not the worst colour in the world, but it's a sort of muddy green. We've got a sort of brighter green. You see that on a lot of golfs and things, don't you? Okay, we've got yellow, we've got orangey-brown colour. It is quite a brown-orange. We've got red, we've got quite a nice blue. Well, I think I'm going to go with that. Please say I've not got the design catalogue full. I've had that problem quite a lot recently. I think it's saved. Right. Let's see what it's like. Right, here we are, A-class thing. It's got sort of, they're not pop-up lights, are they? They're fold-up lights, which is even stupider because they're laying flat, but they're still sort of on top of the car. I never, I never understand the point of pop-ups. It just doesn't hazard for the test. But anyway, it looks a bit like a frog with them up, which is brilliant, especially when it's green. But yeah, although I did say this car was in Motorsport 7 and Horizon 3, 
I haven't actually driven it in either of those because, well, it, it's never particularly been of interest to me. That's one of the, I guess, good things about them adding a car as a new car when it's not, as it makes you go and test it because you think it's new when it's not. Um, yeah. I, I, I mean, I don't dislike this car, it's just not particularly interesting. I kind of like that they were, that it was brought in to get rid of the 911, but it sort of failed at its task, so. And at selling, so it's, yeah, it, it wasn't a successful car. It's not a bad car, it's just not a particularly interesting car. Other than, like I say, it was designed to replace the 911. That's kind of cool, though. So at this point, I'd normally go and make it completely crazy, but let's be honest, that kind of just ruins a car. It's not going to be the fastest car in Forza, so there's no point going all out on it. Um, this is usually roughly how my cars end up, either just sort of like this or stock after a video, even if I throw ridiculous parts on during the video. Anyway. An interesting thing, it's something a bit different. Um, but yeah, like I say, it's been in previous games, so it should really be here on launch, especially as it's been in the game files for a long time. Yeah, what else can I really say about it? It's a Porsche that's not like a traditional Porsche and failed to sell. Yeah, it, it does take 50% to unlock this, so it's honestly not that exciting unless you're a particular fan of this car, or you just like collecting all of the cars. Um, yeah. That might do it for a first look at the Porsche 928. I know it's been a sort of shorter one than usual, because I often go and put a second tune on, but I know I'm going to end up putting it back like this anyway, so yeah, there's not really much point to yet. Hope you've enjoyed it, despite it being a slightly shorter sort of review of a new car. And yeah, I look forward to seeing what new cars we're getting next season, assuming they're still adding stuff and not working on their new Mexican game. Um, but anyway, <laughs> yeah, that is going to do it for today's video, taking a first look at the 928. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll be back with the next video very soon.